Welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about how to set up Google Analytics. In the previous video, I explained uh, what is web analytics and digital analytics and what is the use of that. Now I'm going to set up how it is work. There is a new website about a client, the new uh, the nature health adopts in uh, e-commerce website anyway. So we have as of now one product uh, they want to sell it online. So for this website, I want to track the traffic. So in order to do this, you have to sign up for Google Analytics, which is a tool free of cost. Google Analytics type and go to this URL. And uh, Log in with your Gmail account. Yes, once you come here, it's asking start measuring. Click on that. So directly it's asking uh, the account name, but here I want to explain something more about what is account and what is property. So all of you know about uh, Google ads have a account structure, right? The same way Google analytics also have a account structure. Maybe this video is for the beginners. That's why I will not go deeper into that. So once you log in with the Gmail account, there will be asking about account property. So with one Gmail account, you can manage 100 accounts and each account can have up to 50 properties. So what do you mean by account? Like uh, maybe you have a different website or else you have a different client. So like you got a, a client like Ashoda Hospital is one client. So one account you can create it. And uh, Apollo Hospital, one more client. In such a way, Dr. Batra is one client. In such a way, you can have up to 100 accounts and when it comes to Yeshoda Hospital, Yeshoda Hospital might be having a different website. One is for the cardiology, one is for the gynecology in such a way up to 50 properties you can main, manage in one account. So it's a very rare situation in a way, but they're giving that much of it. In such a way, with one Gmail account, you can manage 5000 websites. Okay. To get clarity anyway uh, if you have a different clients uh, try to do different accounts anyway. but uh, it might be clumsy so you can manage like this all my clients and I'm, I'm, I'm doing with my one gmail account only it's not a problem so here it is asking the account name so account this is the client of the nature health so I'm writing the account name come back and what are the options they're asking let it be like this only and click on the next. Now they're asking, what would you like to track? Website or app? We can track both of them. You can track a website or app. As of now, we're tracking website. So I'm checking the website and click on next. Now they're asking the website name. I told you, right? In one account, multiple websites you can have. Under Nature Health brand, you can have multiple websites. As of now, the website name is the natural health only I'm mentioning it now the URL if your website have HTTPS use it if you don't have it's okay go with the HTTP the nature health dot in so if you want to copy it when you copy when you copy this already you will be getting HTTP again here HTTP is there so if it is HTTP remove it anyway so that make sure that URL is perfect what is the index industry category it's not that much of important anyway, but uh, it's better we can select it. I'm selecting it's related to health, but it's not related to okay. Let me go for shopping because people can shop over there. And uh, I'm zone, I'm selecting India. Then here they'll be giving a code. This is very important. That is a JavaScript code. 
so we discussed about uh, google ads codes webmaster tool code again this is the google analytics code so too many codes are coming there is a possibility your website will become slow so in order to avoid that there is an option called google tag manager so maybe within a week time i'm going to upload videos about tag manager but as of now happily do with the analytics after you become perfect then see how the tag manager will help you to reduce the code then i mentioned all the details i did nothing first of all uh, i've been to google analytics i typed and uh, i logged in with a gmail account it, it asked me account account name and the property name and after some details they asked it's done now i got a code this is the javascript code yes my system got slow that's the reason i'm not uploading more videos yes so this is the javascript code guys so this code is very important they, they call it as a global site tag this code you have to put it in the head section here you can do it in three ways so whichever is easy for you you can do it the first thing is go to if it is wordpress website i'm talking uh, if it is a html website give the code to the developer he can take care so go to appearance theme editor right hand side you'll be getting option called header and footer select the header then when you select the header you will be having options called open head and close head just before the close head paste the code some people paste immediately after the head but i recommend you to paste just before the head section this is one option i'm going to show you how to do this so copy this already logged into the wordpress here so here appearance then theme editor the same process we did with the uh, webmaster tools anyway so theme editor once you go right hand side you will be having options here scroll down and you will see the option called header and footer header and footer click on this so once you click you have a code this is the complete html code of your website okay so here go back see open head and close head just before the close head paste the code i pasted the code see global site tag google analytics then click on update file because you logged into google analytics they give you some unique id with that only google will track identify different websites update file done that's it see tracking id they've given now i want to check whether it is working or not so here left hand side there are there is option called real time there are many options in analytics but I'm, in the next video, I'm going to explain about each and every option as if I'm just showing how to check whether your code is working or not. So go to real time, click on the overview. Here it will show you live data, whether people are on your website or not. So here what I'm doing is I'm checking the website now. So open a new tab and check it. So whenever the page loaded, that code will trigger. It will give a hit so then this hit will send data to google analytics that someone came to the website so then see immediately it is showing that one person came to the website and he's on the home page many details it will give like what is his place from which country which city what is his gender a male or female what is age group these many things it will give you this is all only because of the tracking code the tracking code have a lot of options in anyway. so in depth i'm going to explain about in the future so this is the first step how to do it the second step guys some 
you might be wondering when you type appearance theme editor sometimes you will not find header and footer don't get panic anyway so better you can change the theme different theme that option will be there but you are too much specific i want that theme only then do one thing download one plugin called header and footer so irrespective of that this is the plugin actually i'm going to show you the plugin also so header and footer plugin so that if any theme doesn't have a header option this will help you so i'm adding the plugin so search for header and footer so this is the plugin insert header and footers wp beginner install and activate it so the problem with the first step is you paste the code in the present theme if you change the theme again google analytics will not track make sense so once you confirm your website this is theme is perfect in future you are not going to change go for the first option second option there is a possibility in the future also i'm going to change my theme at the time this second option is good so download this plugin actually so irrespective of the theme so once you download it will be stored in the settings click on settings insert header and footer now you don't have to go to appearance theme and header so directly come here it have a separate header and body option whatever the future codes uh, you will be having a webmaster code conversion tracking code remarketing code facebook pixel code twitter codes everything wherever you want you can post if you saying the header put it in the header footer footer this is good actually irrespective of the theme if you change the theme also this will be good this is the second step the third step is there is plugins google analytics plugin is there so with this help also you can track it so shopify have a built in apps uh, it will automatically track anyway but if you want to do with a wordpress this plugins you have to try you can do a ab test with the different plugins i never used plugin anyway so this is google analytics type google analytics you will get some plugins yes google analytics dashboard for wp by exact metrics connect google analytics with your wordpress site display stats to help you understand your users and site content on a whole new level so install and activate it and whatever they uh, asking you just go with i'll try to do with another domain just be with me okay yes i tried it but uh, it's very slow here so i'm not to explain here maybe in the another video i'll be explaining about the sub, sub plugin so if you want to set up analytics so you have these three ways you can try it anyway uh, anything is good but i recommend you to go with this this is very good actually if you change the theme also this is good now once the tag is pasted and google analytics started showing the triggers uh, of course at least you need uh, one week to 10 days data to check all the options they have uh, there are many options like real time audience acquisition conversions different options are there anyway i'm going to cover this in the next video but at least one week or 10 days data you need it now some students ask questions like uh, it's been more than a year i'm running my website but i activated analytics code right now can i able to track my previous data no you can't do it the time when you paste the code from that time only you can track the website traffic the before data you can't track it anyway okay right so if you have any questions put it in a comment uh, wait for my next video in the next video i'm going to explain each and every option anyway and future i'm going to release some google analytics advanced videos anyway once you go through this the basic 5 to 6 videos then only watch the 
advanced video so that you will understand i'm going to explain about what is hit bounce rate exit rate how google identify the new visitor versus returning visitor how does google know that how does know about our interest these are all the videos i'm going to upload in the future so once again i'm telling you so if you want any online course you can come back to odmt and fill the form so we'll get back to you or else uh, you can take our e-learning portal where more videos advanced videos we are uploading anyway and uh, the benefit of uh, e-learning over the youtube is in e-learning we're giving your case studies real world case studies we're giving so that you have a very good chance of learning from that and dedicated support will be there our trainers will help you in solving your questions and dedicated website also given for you thank you very much guys bye bye